Hello everyone. We'll uh, look some of the administrative template in Unicorn. There are hundreds of administrative template that you can use by using uh, Intune, deploy in, in, by Intune. So let's uh, look some of those uh, templates. For this, you have to the device. Those create a configuration files, create profile platform, select Windows 10 and later profile type is settings catalog create. Here you can give the name administrative template. Click on next. Now add settings. Add settings. See here is an here is a list of uh, the settings you will find in here. And lots of them. Today we are only focusing on the administrative template. In administrative template, see there is a control panel, desktop, Google Chrome, network printer, share folders start menu taskbar system these are here so let's go one by one first in control panel we can select add or remove program display personalization printers so if we click like add on or remove program So we can uh, find this option as per our policy we can select here as per the company policy let's say we select remove add or remove program users from users from display we can select hide settings tab and personalization we can select multiple settings under one uh, rule so that we can uh, assign this uh, policy to the group of the users not just one by one we can just we, we give uh, assign the rule to the user uh, as as in a whole not display the log screen and Add the force specific default log skin and log on skin so we can we can do that from here so here is actually hundreds of uh, you know settings are there we, we just for testing purpose we just uh, click just a few of them and it's in printers program regional language option we can select here the accounts so you can do that from desktop here's active directory the desktop that item extra wallpaper user visible all item so here we can select as per our policy as per company policy if you want google chrome in there and add the settings as you can see here's lots of them for microsoft teams Basically, after yeah, you can add this MA security guide. Uh, as you can see, I'm just adding randomly. Actually, this is not as as a baseline or anything. Just give you a an heads up. I mean, how many uh, options you will find in here, and you can uh, select it as per your uh, requirement. Um, 
network here is the network so also start and menu and tags bar notification you can turn off notification system you can find the settings file share file system folder redirection group policy there's hundreds of hundreds of I mean, you can also find the shutdown policy in here shutdown option cancel shutdown yeah a very handy one file protection so limit windows to file protection cache size there is those components there is also bit bit locker drive encryption in here So go one by one, remove desktop services here, shut down options, shut down, turn up legacy remote shutdown interface, and select that. PowerShell, I mean, also Windows remote shell you can allow allow remote shell access so you can see there there is lots of lots of options you will find in here you can customize those options as per your need there is also an autoplay policies please allow autoplay from users or I can say then behavior for auto run from, from actually I can turn off the auto play to play from so here is all of the option and let's uh, assume that we select uh, as per our need now we come to the the uh, policies in here Turn of auto play enable from where for all drives same for users for the devices allow remote powershell can disable it we can yeah enable it can enable enable turn of automatically termination of application that block pencil yeah it is enable prevent Microsoft Teams from starting automatically yeah, can enable it, and here we can set how many seconds uh, it will apply. Let's say it will apply for for five minutes, I mean, three hundred seconds. Do not display the lock screen. Enable it. Hide system tab. Enable it. Remove program. Enable it. White hours begin. Yeah. After midnight, you can say 60 minutes. So, please, as you can see, we can add add many more if we want from here. This is only for the you know administrative template. But as you can see, you can add accounts, auditing, authentication. I mean, there are lots of lots of. But uh, I will uh, cover. Uh, most of the it by one by one not in just one one video uh, so just give you show you the administrative part click on next you can we can uh, define a scope here you can assign it to your group I just have only one group 
so i just add my group in here click on next create so the policy is created as you can see in here and here is my policies find those policies in here very easy and straightforward you all can follow this um, this is in the devices windows configuration files and you will find the administrative data so that's it for today um, i will share more of the policies uh, on my later video thank you